Hey there, and welcome to another PST Tuts spoon fed Photoshop tutorial. I'm Gavin Steele, and I'm going to be taking you through Justin's how to mold paint splatter to a face in Photoshop. Head over to psd.tutsplus.com and check out the final image here, and also grab the link to Brush Easy to get the brush that we're going to use for our paint splatters. Any kind of splatter or grungy kind of brush will work just fine. And we're going to go through all of these steps and hopefully create something that looks similar to this. This is one I just created earlier, and it's a really nice quick technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything I did earlier, I'm going to stick that into a group, and I'm going to drag that straight down, and then turn that group off. Here I've got a copy of my original, so I can always come back to it. I'm going to duplicate that one more time, and then get rid of my original, and I'm just going to call this face for now. First thing we need to do is add a new layer. And we're going to call this, um, let's call it new skin or extra skin. And then we're going to grab the clone tool and we're going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to get rid of these eyes. So get a fairly big brush, hold down Alt to select your area. I like so, and we're also just going to sample that, decrease the size of my brush and get rid of this area in here. So what I might do is just zoom in to this area. Like so. And then move down to the mouth. And again, sample an area close to where you want to be um, blending this in. Let's try and keep the colors all the same. slowly get rid of our mouth okay and let's zoom out and have a look okay it looks pretty good next thing that we need to do is we're going to add our paint splatter so head over to the site grab the link to brush easy hit download and double click on the file and it's going to install it into uh, your version of Photoshop and once you've done that, let's go back to our image here. Okay, we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to call this layer Paint Map. And we're going to grab our paintbrush. I'm going to grab a yellow. You can choose any color that you want. And the one in the tutorial is FFC924. And then we're going to grab our brush tool and we're going to head down so we right at the bottom to our new splatters and we're going to stick those on. So let's grab a splatter. You can see the pixel size really, really big. They're really high definition. So bring it down and just start to play around with where you want these to be placed. So I'm going to stick that one on there and then select a different brush. more okay 
Okay, it doesn't look amazing, but obviously take your time uh, with these. And then what I'm going to do is just going to grab a normal brush and bring the hardness down just for now. And I'm just going to brush in the rest of the yellow area that I want this to cover. So I can increase the size of my brush. And because I'm on this new layer, I want it to come along here. Right down the chin. So, okay, and then I'm just going to decrease the opacity a bit so we can see that edge and then zoom in onto here. I'm going to grab my eraser tool, nice hard edge, and I'm just going to come along okay. Now, back to my brush, I'm going to make sure I get all of this area here like so looks pretty good. Okay, the next thing to do is we're going to create uh, a layer mask using this paint map. So we're going to start by just increase opacity up to 100% and change this to overlay. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer underneath our paint map. So just click on the new layer and we're going to call this extra skin. Before you could have called this extra skin and this extra skin too, but this needs to sit just below our paint map. Now what we're going to do is we're going to command click on the thumbnail and it's going to make a selection of our paint map and then we're going to use a mask on this layer and bring in our clone from the layer below. So let's, let me just go through that. So we're going to click on the mask like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this mask to bring in our flesh. So let's turn off the visibility of our paint map, but we've still got the selection here in our mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our clone tool and in this layer in here, we're going to alt click the layers below. And if I just show you how this is going to look, and we're going to paint in our splat. So just for now, just so I know the area that I've got to work with. Just making sure I find the edge of all my little splats. Okay, so this is just rough work. But what it shows me is oops, it shows me all of these edges. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my real selection, so alt on my cheek down here. And I kind of want to keep them all this kind of color. So I'm just going to paint that in and just keep going.
until we get something that looks kind of similar to this. Okay, a little bit dark over here. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I just want to work on this little area here. It's a little bit too disjointed, so I'm just going to grab this like so. just to smooth that area a little bit. It's not perfect, but if we turn back on this layer like so, make sure you set that to overlay. And see, we start to get pretty good. Let's put this back to normal sight. Pretty good idea of how this is gonna look. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is once you've turned that on, is we're gonna create a new layer above our extra skin. And we're going to call this shadow and alt click in between these two layers. So it only applies to the layer below. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a brush and we're going to grab black and we're just going to paint in a shadow here, just coming down the face and then reduce our opacity right down to about 70 to something like that. Okay, let's zoom out and have a look how that looks. And that does not look great at all. So let's undo that shadow it's a little bit too strong so I'm going to go back in just lower my opacity down on my brush bigger brush and that's it just stroke in the shadow I think the problem is my actual uh, bamboo you see if I, if I just it'll just draw thin lines if I don't press down the full way so that first stroke was okay Just need to bring in, there we go, some of the shadow around the face, like so, and then lower that opacity down. Let's set, oops. Make sure we clip that. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to create another layer above our um, faceless subject, which is our face. And we're going to call this, <coughs> excuse me, paint background. Make sure you've got black set to your foreground color. And then we're going to start painting some, uh, some splats onto the background here. So just go down, grab one of your brushes, Again, I'm going to grab this, what this one looks like, that looks pretty good. And I'm just painting that in. Again, increase the opacity of your brush back up to what it was. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's going to add a bit of uh, distance between the two. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a shadow to the whole of our face, the whole of the paint that's hitting the face. Okay, so what we have to do is adding that actual shadow onto the face, the gap between this paint hitting and our face, we're going to have to use a selection of the paint and then just shift that selection. So create a new layer and let's call it uh, Shadow 2. Click on OK. And then we're going to command click on our paint map so we get that full selection. And then make sure you're still on Shadow 2. We're going to fill the selection with black, like so. Then what we're going to do is, again, making sure that the selection is still active, we're going to click on uh, Create Layer Mask right down at the bottom. And then we're going to invert that selection as well. So Command I will invert that selection. Now, to actually get this, we need to turn off the link between the two layers. So just check that little link on and then make sure it's set to off. So just disable that link. And then we're going to Command T, our background layer, free transform it, right click, go to warp. And we're just going to bend it. in just a bit now, I've got the wrong layer there. So if I just Command Z for that, and make sure you grab the actual layer, so I'm gonna hit Enter on that. There we go, and instead of just moving it, we're gonna right click, go to Warp, and we're just gonna pull it just a little bit. Okay, hit enter, grab the eraser tool and get rid of all these bits that we don't need. We don't need these extra black bits. Okay, we're only looking for the shadow on the face really. Just to add, if I just zoom in on the face, there's a little bit of shadow around the sides. You might want a bit at the top, but I think for this particular splatter, and obviously no splatter is going to look the same. Um, it doesn't actually need it up there and up on the top. Let's just zoom into 100% there. And if it's a little bit too strong, then just lower the opacity down again to around the 70s or something mm -hmm. like that. Now, obviously no two splatters are the same. You might want to add some splatters to this. You can just go back again with the brush tool and add them off to the side. But I think overall you get a pretty cool effect with this. And the, the time you spend with the cloning out and the use of the high res brushes and getting those placements really well, um, you end up with a really cool picture. So thanks very much. A nice quick tutorial from uh, Justin there on how to mold paint splatter to a face in Photoshop. Do check out all our other videos in the video section and all the articles, tutorials and interviews over at psd.tutsplus.com. Thanks very much, I've been Gavin Steele.